Hey guys, this is Marianne West and I'm reading you one of the free rides. So we are calling this a free ride detube challenge and I might be a little bit challenged with, <laughs> with some dogs in the background. So we see how this goes. Um, the story is actually after a prompt by SL Homestead at SL Homestead and she issued a challenge of herself to write a story after a prompt and then she's going to choose one of the stories submitted and illustrated. So here we go and I'm reading this one because it has a little bit of something Christmas in it so I thought it would be fitting for today. All right so prompt was he was late to work again. He was late to work again. What would his boss say this time? Last time she sounded pretty serious, even to him. This is your last warning, she said. Next time you're even one minute late, you're fired. There wasn't even a hint of a smile, so deep down he knew that that what was the script. HR for sure had given all the managers the exact words to say in any kind of situation. They were calling it situation now instead of conversation or reprimand since everyone has been walking on eggshells lately. So many lawsuits and immediate firings of forced re resignation if anybody said the wrong word. Up till now, he never had worried about his job or his job security for that matter. But now he was driving faster. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, assaulted his ears from the radio. Nothing but Christmas music at this time of the year. So annoying. Especially a song in German. Why? For a minute, his thoughts stopped being focused on being late and driving fast. His ears took in the song and he needed to roll down the window and spit the language. Don't drive so fast. Why are you late again? You're not going to make it. Late as always. Didn't I tell you to learn some discipline? The voice with that German accent seemed to be coming from the back seat. His grandma telling him what to do again. The longer she was dead, the louder her voice had become. Change the station, turn the volume up. All useless, he knew it from experience. Still, find some chairs. No, rock and roll. His grandma hated rock and roll, but she liked, oh, Tannenbaum. And they all had to sing it when on some mandatory afternoon visits during Advent. She had been holding on to the old traditions, including the insistence on always being punctual. Maybe this was, maybe this is why I'm always late. Where did this thought come from? He needed to drive and drive fast, faster than his grandma could keep up with. Leave her behind. Beep, beep. The sound was barely reaching him, so the loud riffs of the electric guitar filling his ears. Shit, God damn it! At least his grandma's voice had left his brain, but what filled the air now was the sound of sirens. How long had that fucking police radar detector been beeping? So one time he turned up the music. Of course, everything was happening to him. May I see your driver's license and proof of insurance? The officer asked very politely. Of course, officer, he said with a charming smile, but his stomach was churning. Shit, it was a man and he didn't look gay either. The last two times he was stopped, he had managed to charm his way out of a ticket, just as he usually could charm his way out of being fired. But this dude looked like the kind of cop who had seen it all and wasn't going to be impressed by anything he could think of. Why was it taking such a long time to check his papers? How he hated this kind of waiting, but he was good at it. No sweaty hands for him. This was a time to keep all his wits about him. Grandma was trying to talk to him again. Not now. He had silenced her before. 
for good. She was not going to ruin for him the life he had built for himself ever since. He was free. You are free, he whispered to himself. What was taking the officer so long? Because he knows, Grandma crackled from the back. Because he knows. She was singing to the melody of old Hannibal. Where was the officer? Because he knows, louder and louder, mixed with a crackling his grandma called laughter. Now he could see him walking towards his car, his face so serious, his hand on the gun. Should he gun the car? Because he knows. Sweat, oh no. Sweat is running in droplets from his temples, his forehead running into his eyes. Because he knows. Here is the officer at his window reaching for him. Both started speaking at the same time. I confess, is it all in order, the officer says. Confess what? That I prefer a winter climate at Christmas time, he says, as grandma's song of because in us becomes a barely discernible whisper. Your left tail guide, your left tail light is not working. You need to fix it as soon as possible. Can you write me a fix it ticket? I can show to my boss that you stopped me, he said. I'm going to be late for work. He drove off, shaking his head with his own stupidity as he hummed. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum. Yep, that's it. Oh, Tannenbaum, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye, everyone.